Welcome to our lecture online and now for some application type problems. In this case we're going to deal with revenue and cost and yes we're going to end up with two equations and two unknowns so we're going to solve them as a system of linear equations. Turns out two equations two unknowns is the easy way of saying a system of linear equations. So what do we have in front of us? Well the oh I forgot a D on there the fixed cost for operating a hamburger stand is $200 per day. The cost to sell each burger for ingredients and so forth is $1.50 each. If each burger is sold for $3.50, how many burgers must be sold to break even? All right, what does that look like on a graph? Let's do a graph first. So on the vertical axis, we have revenue and we have cost. On the horizontal axis, we have X. That would be the quantity sold or the quantity produced. And so the cost has a fixed cost. So this would be the fixed cost. And on the variable cost, the more you make, the more you have to spend. On the revenue, well, when you don't sell any burgers, you don't make any revenue at all, so you start from here. But since you sell each burger for more than it costs to make one, eventually you'll see that you have what we call the break-even point. So this is called the break even point. And here you're making a profit because the revenue is greater than the cost, so this is profit. And here you would be making a loss because the cost is greater than the revenue. Alright, so if you're interested in finding the break-even point, this is how we do that. We first want to have an equation for the revenue. So the revenue is equal to, well, it's $3.50 for each burger sold. X represents the number of burgers sold. So this is the quantity sold. And the cost, well, that's going to be the fixed cost, which is $200 per day, plus the variable cost, which is 1.5x. Okay, how do we solve that? Well, we find the break-even point when the revenue is equal to the cost. So the break-even point means that the revenue is equal to the cost. So that means that uh, two, uh, 350 x is equal to 200 plus 150 x. And that we have to solve. So the first thing we probably want to do is multiply both sides by 10 to get rid of the decimal. That's always a good thing to do. So let's go ahead and multiply the left side by 10 and let's multiply the right side by 10. So when we do that, on the left side, we get 35x is equal to 2000 plus 15x. Now we move all the x's to one side. 35x minus 15x equals 2000. Or 20x equals 2000. And when we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, that means that x is equal to 100. So 100, that's the quantity sold. When we sell 100 burgers a day, we break even. It's not a good place to be at because you don't make any money, but at least you're not losing money either. So you need to sell more than 100 burgers a day in order to make a profit. And that is how it's done. Tappy. <laughs> you're making a lot of noise with your bone. Hmm? Hmm? So what are we going to do with you? Huh? Hmm? Yeah.